Trayworks here, and this is my sixth video today. So, I'm already sweaty, but here I have my custom Lego Ant-Man. Sorry, I don't know why I said that. Uh, I Sometimes I just, I make lots of custom videos, so I, I can't say this is my custom Lego and then I see the figure and I say the name. <laughs> but this is, uh, I guess the face is a custom. Uh, that is the Anakin face. Uh, from, uh, the, I forgot what the set was called. But that is an Anakin face. Uh, the set was made recently. Uh, not too recently, I think in the year, early in the year, or last year, I don't remember. But, what, I'm, what I want to talk about today is is why I don't think people complain about the Lego Ant-Man helmet, the original, doesn't make sense. <laughs> so far, every YouTuber... Every Lego YouTuber I pass by that talks about Lego Marvel figures, uh, the, everyone is, every time I see a YouTuber talking about the Lego Ant-Man, they keep complaining about the helmet. I really don't see why, why people are complaining about this helmet. I mean, I get it. The, there, there's that little hole where, where you can see the mouth. I mean... It, I mean, that's it. Like, I don't see any other reason why they would complain about this helmet. The 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 look of it, the the little like just. I mean, the antennas are really cool. Uh, the and the mold just looks really cool, and I don't mind the uh, open mouth. Uh, I really just don't mind it. And, uh, I don't know why people are complaining for accuracy. I mean, it makes sense why they're complaining about that, but... I, still, I, I, I think it's pretty cool. Now, if you actually want... Now, if you still don't care and you still want, want to see a Lego Ant-Man helmet... With, with the mouth covered well somewhere in here I have a head a yellow head with uh, I actually use a silver sharpie and I um, kind of just scribbled it on the mouth and I did that for uh, this video but apparently I made that head a long time ago so oh is this the head? Yeah, this is the head. Okay, I found it. So, uh, this is the head, and we are going to uh, test this out. Also, this works too. So, I just really don't see it. I mean, you're just complaining about that little slot right there. It's, I mean, cross that, cross that out, and it's okay. I mean, that's just little to complain about. I don't see it. Like, you have to really complain about that one thing. But anyway, here's what it looks like with the covered mouth. Looks fine. But to to me, I I think it without. I don't know. I just. The new Ant-Man mold helmet, I don't like that. And I know lots of people will be like, what? But it looks really cool. To me, I don't know. I mean, it's a print. Instead of it being translucent eyes. Which, by the way, that translucent eyes are just really, really cool. And it's also pretty menacing right here. Yeah, that's pretty menacing looking. 
but I mean, I don't mind it. I I think uh, the original is really cool, but that new one, I'm trying to like it, but with that print, it just looks a bit annoying. And the antennas, those are fine. It's just the antennas in the back are what I think is actually good about it, but the front does not look good. And and actually, now that I think about it, that, that's kind of the opposite of what other people think. The people are thinking the front looks bad on 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 this, but everything else is good on this Ant Man helmet. So it's mixed opinions, but I but I personally think that that this helmet is fine. I don't mind it. I like the translucent part of it, and I do not want that new one. Well, I actually do want it, now that I think about it, because I really like comparisons. But my point is, is that this helmet should not be hated. Anyway, that's it. Bye.